Well hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to episode 2 of my Valheim Let's Play here on my channel. It is fantastic to have you all back once again. I'm really looking forward to doing this episode too. <laughs> so really really good to have you back and I'm very excited to get going with you guys today. I'm going to apologise a bit early uh, for the sort of sore throat you might hear. Um, I had a bit of a big weekend away so yes, a little bit tired, a little bit sleepy after that. But uh, nevertheless we're going to have some fun. Uh, I think we'll probably start the day by going to bed. <laughs> and as we go past, I think we have honey. There we go. Fantastic. Oh, this is going to be good. This is going to be very good. But we'll get some sleep quickly and then I can show you what's happened in the meantime. So yeah, once again, guys, it's fantastic to have you all back. Really, really enjoyed the feedback on the first episode. Um, it's going to be great to, to see more comments on it on this one. So keep them coming. I love, love getting all the comments from you guys. You make it super, super, you know, interesting. And uh, I love reading every comment. I do always try and reply to every comment. So, you know, please ask questions, ask away. <laughs> but anyway, here we go. So it's a little bit dark, but uh, as you might be able to see, the framework now is in place for this little area here. Uh, that looks out of place. No, it doesn't. That's okay. But yeah, so we've kind of got the whole idea of the curve going around the outside of the building here and a little bit coming straight out the front here with some stairs going off the end here and stairs going off the end here and we'll get some handrails. A bit annoying to have the stone there, but what can we do? Now, we're also going to pretty up the edges of this, also finish the roof, uh, but also you might see at the back here that I have just put a slight bit of pattern in the back. Again, we'll do the overhanging roof but it just gives it a little bit extra, just a little bit extra. And we could very do, easily do a little porch balcony off here going off to the back, which in hindsight, I think we should definitely do that. <laughs> but if we go inside, you'll start to see that we are pretty much enclosed by this area. And the question still remains, what do we do with this area? But um, yeah, <laughs> but for now, I think it's definitely time to finish off this area here. We want to get this done as soon as we can really. So that we have an area from which to go out. But now this is also going to be tough as well, trying to get everything to the right levels. Hmm. So I suppose I'd probably just go... Oh. <laughs> Thank you Hammond for breaking. You're not going to allow me to use it because it's not undercover properly? Yes, that's the one. That's the one. But let's quickly get all of this in. Because getting the house built, no one wants to see any more of that. You want to see the house built and done and go off exploring, fighting bosses, this, that and the other, I'm sure. Um, but if you do like the whole building aspect and detailing aspect, do let me know. I'd love to see what everyone likes and I'm going to try and cater to everyone. As that I think is a good thing to do. Make sure everyone's happy. Cater for the many rather than the few. So... Yeah, so I think this could look quite nice if we get this in like so. Keep that grain of the wood, well I say grain, planks, pointing in the same direction. It's always a nice little touch. And this is the hard one, how to do this bit really. As we just turn it, hmm. If I had to use, not that one, uh, this one. I would have thought if I do that and that that can I squeeze one in here? Kind of. It's not quite what I want, but I think it's I don't think anyone's gonna notice that, are they? And like that, that's pretty good I think. There we go. And let's just do the same on these ones. That looks a bit tacky now, doesn't it? It's the thing with Valheim sometimes is that you get some weird things going on like this. For example, I really don't want that to be on top. I really want to have. Hmm. Maybe I can't fix that. We can figure out a way to to get through that though. That's also not in the right position. 
that is. There we go. So I think this would be okay if we just do this as we're doing it. Have we got enough wood on us? We've got seven wood left. Thankfully. That's okay. Thankfully, we did a lot of chopping. A lot of chopping between episodes, so hopefully. <laughs> oh, little, little moment. Oh, no, we can't be having that. Is that sticking out the side? Yes, it is. Can't be having that. Again, that's not too bad. Like that. And we need some more wood. Right. Let's go in the right. If we grab these two, carry all of them, and I'm going to quickly finish this off, and I'll get right back to you. Okay, so in our quiet, misty morning, we have some progress. These stairs are all in. Bannisters up, and the roof is slowly coming together. Now we have this very weird bit here, which we're trying to work out as we go at the moment. Ooh, that was lucky. Uh, I'm just putting in the final bits of the roof, as I think this is what we'll go for for now. Again, subject to change. Also, love your guys' feedback as well. And then we have this fun little bit here just on the corner so if I can get onto it without yeah this one here so I was thinking can we turn this into a chimney was my thought how can we use this as a chimney it's quite a tricky one to think about we could turn this whole corner get rid of the slightly cornered roof I don't know um, but if we go inside we now moved our workbench inside as well but if we go inside it has the possibility, it's quite small, but it could it could work, it really could. And the way I can imagine doing it is just kind of opening up this, these three bits here, one, two, and three, and allowing the smoke to go up. So we'll think about that. But in the meantime, we're practically done now. Obviously we're gonna close off this area, which we can do right now. Let's get that one in, please, okay. One in, in there, and that one in there, allowing us to that one. Uh, the small fella. Okay. I'm not really sure how I do this one, but we'll have a go. I'd imagine I did that, and then to get one of one of these in. Like so. And then I think we're all in. Yeah, nice. Fantastic. So yeah, it's just to think about this little area here. So we could definitely muck around with this. So we know how this works. It's just three pieces of roof. Oh, a bit more if you get it wrong. Like that. So it's three pieces of roof that go here. And that is what we're trying to sort out. So then do we actually go up or more? So it's two on this side too. Will that make it easier? Maybe it will, maybe it will. Rather than having this weird flat face on the side here. Which looks a little bit odd, doesn't it? It's a tricky one, it's a really tricky one. Don't muck around with curves, curves are a nightmare. Hmm. It's just this little gap here, isn't it? I think we can make this work by going up one more roof. If I put them in from the inside, I might be able to see it more clearly. And then if we go and take those bits off the outside, maybe that'll work. So that one needs to go, that one needs to go, that one needs to go. So does that one. If I can get up here, please, without the stamina. No. Yes, okay. So here we actually need a slightly different piece, don't we? I don't think we even have one of these that'll work. I mean, we have one of each, not both, <laughs> which is the problem. Hmm. Some very weird angles going on here. 
Although that has kind of worked. How do I fill in this gap now? <laughs> okay, we have our fix. We have the fix. <sighs> That's taken a while. But yes, what we've managed to do is actually just keep the same roof going up a bit higher. And we had a bit of a weird area here. I've got to put one more piece of wood in here. But instead, we could make a chimney there. Now that has worked all right, actually. A bit more wood to go in there as well. And when we bring this roof down one layer more, the chimney will look a little bit more natural. But we did we did need a chimney, and I may lower it down actually. A chimney, we'll see, we'll see. But for now, that is looking a little bit better. It has just a lot lots of decoration. But I thought we could take a break on decorating the house and doing the house for two seconds. And I thought we'd go on a little explore to go and see if we can get. We'll just find the deep forest really, because it's always going to be handy to find the deep forest. But to do so, we are going to need some wood arrows, and for that we need some wood. So, it is time to gear up, get ourselves ready, and then go and fight some big monsters. So let's do it. I haven't taken down one of these big trees yet. Let's, let's take one of these, let's take this guy down, this big oak. Shouldn't destroy anything from here. Oh, he's just waiting to be hit. Oh, come on, that was so close. No, 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 no. Away. We're getting better with our spear. We're getting better. No, you're not allowed to be part of that. Thank you. Take the resin. Right, let's get this tree. Big tree. Well, that's answered that question pretty fast. <laughs> so let's go for this fella and see if we can knock down the birch just behind here. Because I'd love to get some fine wood right now. And there we go. That's going the wrong way. Fantastic. Not going to destroy anything else tonight. We'll get all this wood in. Right, let me gather some wood up. Get ourselves ready. Be right back. Right, so we've got lots of meat and things now. So we need to get that cooking up, don't we? So over we go to our little stove. Any more honey coming in? One more honey, lovely. We need to get this cooking. It's kind of why I'd like to get some fire going. There we go. Lots of food to be cooked. Let's have some of that honey as well. Look at that, 35 stamina. God, it's good. Super, super good. And we could probably get our, another. Take that fella. <clears throat> get ourselves a fireplace in here now. Now, we'll make a better little area to. Hmm, hang on. Food's cooked. We'll make a better area to put our fire. Don't burn, don't burn. There we go. Oh no, I don't cut the neck tails up. That's annoying. Uh, but yes, we'll make a better area to put our wood burner soon. But we need some wood arrows. Should make probably 60 of those. Here we go. Fantastic. Now that is just going to help us quite a lot. And in the meantime, put away all these bits and bobs. That one. Food. Get our food, quick, quick, quick. Right, I think that's everything. Uh, no more neck tails, so I hope that's just deer. Yes, that's good. Might even have some more food in here, I don't know. We do, I'll oh, split stack. I would like the entire stack, thank you. And actually we do not need the stones, we'll put that stone away in a minute. We don't need that one, we don't need that one. How are we doing on our scraps of leather? Not badly, not badly at all. And lots of rugs too, so soon we'll be able to decorate our inside. Thank you. And these two will be great, thank you. 
There we go, lots of food. Wow. Too much food. Right, let's get rid of this stone, as we do not need it. After tempting that uh, fireplace. But I think we're ready to go. We have arrows, our weapons are all fully healed, or healed, you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, make sure everything is completely ready. We may sleep, just because I don't know how far in the day it is yet, so the sun's going down. Maybe we do just get the sleep done now, and then we go. And the question is, where do we go? Okay, so we've got a bunch more wood now, and the reason behind that is we need to make some improvements to our workbench quickly. So if you haven't, if you don't understand how this, uh, the workbench works, so here you have a little star here next to the um, workbench here, and this is the level one and level two upgrades. So what we need to do is do exactly that. We need to upgrade our workbench. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do the chopping block first, as it's the easy one to do. And you need to put it within the vicinity. As you can see there, it's then now popping up, saying it's fine. There we go, we're now connected, so we can now do more things like this. So we can now do leather helmets. And we can do flint head arrows. Which is very handy. But we can also upgrade our things as well. But the main thing I was looking for is to do so six deer hide for that. Six and six, they're all six. How much do I have? So soon we'll get a big storage area going back in our actual in our new base. So we don't have to keep running back and forward here. 16, so I can do two of them, so that's pretty good. Um, so six for each, we'll take 12. Uh, what else do we need here? The scraps could be helpful. I think we need scraps to do something. I think that's a second upgrade, maybe. Uh, and here we've got flint. We've got some. We've got flint already, but we'll take half a stack just in case. And I think that's pretty good. And we'll see what upgrades and things we can do. Definitely going to get a door in the back there. Going to be very helpful to stop me having to run around the back. Ooh, hello, that was fun. But for now, let's get. Hmm. I would have thought at the same time, definitely a helmet because we haven't got anything on our head yet. And then let's upgrade one of them. Let's go for the leather tunic, I think. Put that one on our head, and that one on our body. There we go. That is a bit better. And we could definitely make some arrows. Some good arrows. There we go. So 100 arrows in total. Very, very good. I'm going to get rid of these things. We don't need them anymore. We could upgrade our flint spear. I mean, why not? Uh, but before we do that, we'll just check if we can do the next upgrade as well. Five deer hide, 20 leather scraps. No, we can't. So, because we can't, let's upgrade the flint spear. And we obviously need the level three one to do that. We could upgrade our wood shield, which could be helpful when we fight bigger bigger things. So there we go. Don't worry about any rags. Don't care about them. Have we got enough to make a quick chest in here? Yes, we do. So let's pop our first chest down and we'll just put the things in here that we don't need right now. Which is actually... We'll keep that with us. Uh, need that. Don't need those two. Need that one. Don't need all that food. That's quite a lot of food. I think that's us pretty good. I think we're ready. With our spear and our shield. It's time to go on an adventure. Okay. And as I said, we're going to go south. So off we go. I wonder what we're going to find. But as you might have seen, so we need lots of rag pieces because it's helpful for the next... Um, oh, let's check the beehive as well. Um, helpful for the next upgrade for the workbench. Just quick check in case there's some more honey. Aha! You never know how helpful that piece of honey could be. So, there's a few things I want to try and find from this journey here. One would be blueberries, but I think they're in deep forest, as well as carrots. Again, I think they're all... Is it deep forest or dark forest? I can't quite remember. Hopefully we find out soon. 
Um, and to see if there's any trolls or anything like that around. That was a good shot. Thank you. For your things. Thank you for your skin. Is that weird? It's really a bit of a weird one to say. Am I being followed still? No, I thought I was. Right. So we've definitely explored this bit, as you can see. But I want to go down towards this way over here. And I want to see what we are going to find. Will we see a big blue fella? And if you know what I mean by that, then let's hope so. If you don't know what I mean, don't know what I mean by that, then let's def definitely hope so. And I'd love to show you what they look like. First time I saw one. Yeah, I think the, the word panic doesn't quite reach how I felt, but um, close enough. I need to make sure that I use the correct foods at the correct time. So if you don't know, if under foods you can see there's a golden fork, there's a red fork, and then there's white forks. Now, if, please correct me if I'm wrong here, but golden forks are for endurance, red forks are for strength, and uh, white is for both. As in like it's a solid mixture. Uh, but yeah, so that's pretty handy. But let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, now if I throw this, we have to go this way. Oh, there's loads of deer down here. So what we should do, actually, is just do this. Don't mean to do the second one. Aim for the bottom one. There we go. And that last one is very confused at what just happened. I would like to say three from three, but if we ignore the little mishap Ooh, uh, <laughs> there's another mishap right okay new territory here we go I want the shield on the back actually just because it makes it a bit more safe and mushrooms must collect food continually collect something I highly recommend to anyone starting out in this game keep collecting the food do not stop Every time you come past some, just try and grab a couple. Not just for the basic food, just eating them by themselves, but for soups and mixtures later on when we get to cauldrons. Ah, oh, there we go. Nice. Ooh. Ooh. Well, that was a bit quicker than I expected. But here we go. We're in the Black Forest. And that rock just petrified me because I thought that might have been... Oh, it's a uh, area. I thought this rock was something else. Hello, Hugin. Are you going to warn me? Prove your worth. So they want me to slay Ekther first. Oh, yeah, here we go. We're right in here, guys. Lots of Grey Dwarfs to start us off. Should we try some blocking? Keep going. Dodge that rock. There we go. Well done. And we have greater war fires now. So that is our first encounter with greater wars. But I'm really worried that we are going to encounter the person I really do not want to encounter right now. But as you might have seen, these are tin deposits. So maybe we are going into the Black Forest a little bit prematurely here. And in fact, we should be trying to slay Ekthir. Right. This is a really bad idea, isn't it? We like bad ideas. Ah! Oh, I thought it was blueberries. Damn it. Oh, because they always surprise you, even though they're really big. I think I've given it away now. So you probably all know what we're expecting. Haha, -ha, but that is helpful. Whoa, you came out of nowhere. Come on, charge me. That's the last thing he did. Obviously, because he died. Right. So the Black Forest Edge, we're back in the normal forest now. Now I think about it. So the, literally is just in this corner here. Interesting. 
Maybe we're not prepared for this yet. Maybe we should be going to slay the first boss. <laughs> this is where the title of this video is, Slaying the First Boss. And, <laughs> and we've done it. So, I think we head back. And I think we go and get Ekthir. I think we go and get this done. Because we're not really prepared, are we? Wow, that was a quick two and one, but we need the scraps, thank you. Oh, hello, other one. Careful. Right, I'll see you back at base. Okay, so we just found our first little fort here, with our first skeletons. And quite a lot of things, actually. Oh, that's a level three Grey Dwarf, that's not a fun one. Right, we might have bitten off more we can chew. Hopefully the skeletons are fighting, yep yeah, they are. But this guy needs to die. Wow, this is a bit, a bit of an intense one suddenly. Eat some food. Eat some honey. Ooh, that hurt. Oh, it's not a good time to get stuck on a tree. I don't think I've ever seen a level 3. Oh, I don't need a boar on me as well. Oh, this has suddenly got a bit, a bit crazy. Yeah, this is not quite what I wanted. I don't need you doing that to me, sir. Right. Okay, we're out in the open now. Let's try and get this guy. Because this guy is a bit of a higher level than I kind of wanted, really. So let's not get those balls involved either. Let him try to slap me. Move away. Spin. Keep moving. Keep moving. That's the key. You shall not be catching me, sir, he says. Come on, hit me. Let's see how big a hit is. Okay, I think we've got this. Go on. There we go. Whew. We got him. We got him. Okay, so that's the first time I think I've seen, as I say, a level two. Oh, God. You're a level... Two. Oh no, so it's level three, sorry, the uh, Greater Walk, because it was two stars, so it's two extra than normal. Wow. Well, this is a bit of a crazy journey back, and I just wanted to go home. And you're all making it very difficult for me right now. Right. But it is cool how we know how Greater Wolf eyes, as they are very, very helpful. As you will find out later on, when I try and up the comfort of my house. Now, comfort is very important in this game as it gives you boosts and bonuses and you know you when you rested you get rested for longer also means that you are just a bit, bit stronger long shot Ooh, that was pretty good uh, you're rested for longer and means you get more strength for longer basically it's a very good thing to do stop looking at a rock dodge around you pick that up spin hit him finish we're getting a bit more proficient with this. And good timing because the day is almost ended. So we've got a few things to do, haven't we? To get ourselves back up and sorted for things. Oh, do you think we can do this from here? It's quite a long shot on the bird. And he's flown away. That might not have been that far away from where he was sat. If I'm being kind to myself. <laughs> right. So an unsuccessful, successful trip. We like those. We're a big fan of those. But I think it's time. Oh, I thought I was resting. There we go. I think it's time to take on the boss. Which I'm saying quite nonchalantly. And I'm hoping it isn't going to be too hard. But we'll see. Right. Oh, a bit of water. That's always helpful. And what do we not need in here? We don't need that one. Don't need the resin. Don't need that. 
We need to make some more chests. Definitely need to make some more chests, but that can go in there. We've got resin in both things, which is not very helpful. Put all those in there for now. Cool. Right, well I think it's time to go and get myself completely sorted, kitted up, maybe try and level up some more things and that sort of stuff. So we'll be right back after we've got ourselves in a position where we're ready to write, uh, write to fight Ichthyr. Okay, so I think we're starting to look a bit better. <clears throat> um, it's a new day in both ways, in the game and personally. I'm in a little bit of an adventure. Uh, things may have changed a bit here. I obviously need to put that bit of wood in there, but we have another bee, and I've literally just noticed. Now, you probably a few of them have been screaming at the screen going, how has he not noticed it yet? Or has it just spawned in? I do not know. But there is a beehive just sat here. <laughs> Has it been there all the time? That's embarrassing. Uh, or has it just appeared? But it means we can now have two more beehives. Just go in and grab that. And I don't want to leave the honey behind. There we go. I can't believe I hadn't seen that before. But it means suddenly now... Ooh, big shot. Oh, that's close. Uh, it means now that we can make hopefully two of these. Yes, we can. We've got enough wood for it as well. But suddenly, we're looking. I think just by there. Looking pretty good. Bees are happy. Bees are happy. Honey. Now that is a really, really, really good start. Really good. So that's fantastic. Um, right, now if we go inside, we have some updates in here as well. I am going to change the banisters. I have a better idea for this. But we now have the tanning rack, which is the level three. Uh, so now we can do a few more things. You can get fire arrows now, which are always really helpful. Flint head, I think they were there before. Um, but what I do want to do is upgrade my crude bow. Um, so we need five wood for the little scouts and some deer hide for that. Um, so we need a bit more wood and things, but it's night time. So I think the plan is to go and grab a touch more wood, upgrade our bow, make a load of arrows, and then go and fight Ichthyr. I don't know why I'm running this way, because my bed's inside. But um, yeah, I think that's the plan. I think that's a good plan. It's a bit bumpy, this, isn't it? Oh, I'm about to change that. Anyway, and also in here, we now have an improved fireplace. The fireplace is down, the cooking stations are over. So we've been surrounded quite nicely, and we have a chimney that is taking all of our smoke out. For uh, the first one, they let the smoke went everywhere. <laughs> it was horrible. So I have fixed that now, and we now have a chimney going up and out. So there we go. And we're rested. Perfect. And that rested bonus will be super, super helpful. Right. Good morning. Fantastic. Do we have any meat to cook? We have more meat than I know what to do with. Wow. A lot of meat. Uh, anything I don't need in me right now. Don't really need this stuff quite yet. So I don't think we actually need much wood to do um, the upgrade to the bow. But it'll be good to get a load of arrows. So we need five wood. One more wood. Quickly do that now. And then I can whiz off and grab. Uh, a load of wood from trees. There we go. A touch of wood. That will allow us. Oh, I was going to get him. To quickly upgrade this, which is always super helpful. There we go. Fix, upgrade, creeper. We need leather scraps and a piece of stuff. Upgrade, crude bow. Great. Now, we don't have enough leather scraps. Oh, well that's embarrassing. I forgot about the food. We've got so much of it, that's okay. Um, and coal is always helpful. There we go. Wow, I can't wait to plant our trees. We have so many trees. What we could quickly do, actually, is if we go to furniture, we could put a rug down. In front of the fire, maybe. And our comfort's gone up to five, though. You might see that gone up in the top corner. Which is really helpful. I'm not going to burn my food this time. There we go. 
get it all cooking out. Now, what level is this? 35, 12. 30, oh, that's the same stuff. <laughs> 30, 10. So actually, deer meat is better. That's really interesting. So that's really good to have that, actually. But we have so much of it. So many berries, too. It's brilliant. So much food. I'm about to have a load of honey as well. It's all looking pretty handy. And we're hungry. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cook all this meat. I'm going to go and grab a load of wood, make a load of arrows, and we'll be right back. Okay. Well, today is a day. The 18th day. I think we're ready. I think we're there. So we've got some chests down now here. Um, just to keep all our things in. To come watch us over here. Things have been upgraded. The bow has been upgraded. Um, this is the last one I was going to do was upgrade my flint spear. A six wood. So that's that. Flint and some leather scraps which are in my animal's chest. Which is in here. Is that enough? Or was it six? No, it was two. So there we go. Upgrade that as well. Fantastic. That's just going to help us out a little bit more. Um, and then arrows, obviously. Don't worry, I do have more wood than that. <laughs> That's not the only wood we got. I've got another whole thing here. There we go. So now we're going to make up a load of fire arrows because fire arrows are super helpful and I have more resin than I know what to do with um, and then we need feathers there we go now let's make up a bunch of fire arrows okay, 60 of those take some flint head as well 60 of each we're not going to run out anytime soon so that's pretty good Quite happy with that. Pretty good haul. Uh, and so now we can put these things away. And there you go. Let's put that away. That away and that away. And I think we're kind of there. We have so much food. Um, we're going to check our honey supply in just a second. But plenty of berries. Uh, plenty of meat of both types. So I think we'll probably go meat and honey with berries as an extra once we've run out of honey. Because we want as much strength as we can. But hopefully our beehives. Two, two, two. That's a bit better. But I think we're there. I think it's time, you know? I think it's time to go and and do this. So Yeah. So I want to start eating some strength stuff now and let my strength and uh, go up. Did I run past the wall? I did. Didn't even care about me. That's fine. He is not my focus right now. I mean, why not? <laughs> it's all helpful. But I'm feeling pretty confident. Ether isn't too hard usually. Famous last words. And I think we're probably over over prepared. You know, we've got fairly good armor. We could have leveled up the armor a bit. We've got loads of arrows. Always helpful. Um. Hello everyone. Bit of practice, just warming up, you know, even though we probably won't be getting anywhere near Eekfeel. We're staying a good distance away. Because I believe the good method here uh, is firstly probably to not bring along loads of tools. So maybe I should quickly pick, get 10 wood and make a little chest. Because the lighter we are, the faster we're going to run. That's 10 wood, that's fine. And we'll just put all the things we don't need. Ah, oh, so we need to make a workbench. Oh no, we'll leave that. <laughs> In fact, I'll probably drop the wood for now, because we can always come pick it up later, because thankfully it doesn't despawn. But... Okay, so the thing to do here, when he spawns in, is probably actually to move over to these pillars here. Or just stick in the area and use one of the bigger pillars and use the pillars to run around. Um, I've just realised a fatal flaw. I forgot to bring two deer trophies. I'll be right back. Okay, so that's a bit better. We have our deer trophies as we need them. Don't need you there. Whew. This is going to be interesting. A bit nervous, you know. 
But I'm not going to do it yet until I'm able to... Oh, hello dear. That was a good shot. Uh, until I can eat some more meat. As I don't really want to go in with only 77 health. I'd rather go in with about 90. So and the plan, as I say, is to go in with um, honey to give myself some stamina. It's tempted to go mushrooms because it gives me more health as well, but I, want, I need stamina. So cause my stamina in total will be 12, 10 to 22. Yeah, so it'll be 37 if I did it that way. Oh, there we go. Right, so that one and that one. And that's now giving us a big boost. Yeah, so just over 100 stamina and pretty good amount of health. So. We're just straight into it. Where's he going to spawn? Where's he going to spawn? You just stay away from the lightning horns. Like that. And keep moving round. Keep moving. Keep moving, keep moving, that's the key. Get away from that, that's the one, don't get caught by that. Get some stamina here. There we go. Stay focused. That was a little bit too close. Oh, I do not need you. Change it to fire arrows. Ooh. Good so far, good so far. You're really annoying me. We're doing good, we're doing good. Good shot. That was close, that was way too close. Away from that. Good dodge. Oh, this is dangerous. Good. Good so far. No stamina. That was a good shot. I want to get the last hit with my spear. Run away, run away. So shaky. Yes! The last hit was with the spear. Oh, there we go. There we go. Eek feared down. Ah, oh, and the hard antler and the trophy. Oh. That was quite intense. Yes. I will. I will. And what's quite helpful actually is that we've got a lot of wood off that as well. <laughs> that saves me a bit of bit of work. Twenty wood. Book of that. We have our trophy. We have our hard antler. Now that is big. That is really important for us right now. And it's gonna allow us to do quite a special thing, which is get a 
pickaxe. So now if we go to here. Oh, I just sod off. We don't need you. Um, there we go. There we go. So, I can run and jump better. Fantastic. Your next target dwells in the Black Forest. The Elder awaits. This is pretty cool. Love that. Love that a lot. So if I click this... I'm now just a bit awesome. <laughs> but how about that, guys? We have done it. We have the power of Ekthir. Can you see it in the bottom left there? We also now have the hard antler, as I say. So it's now time to go and make a pickaxe. And I think just get to the deep forest. Because we know what's waiting there for us, don't we? And that is um, lots of things, actually, to be honest with you. But we need bronze because we want to start making some better weapons. Uh, so if we go to here now. Antler pickaxe. Fantastic. Now, can I get anything else with the antler? Doesn't look like it. So we'll keep that antler stuff safe and out of the way. Because we don't want to lose that anywhere. It'd be a bad thing to lose. Whilst we're here, might as well go one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Well, that was pretty good. That's pretty good going. I think we did that fairly smoothly. Not too hard. Didn't use too many arrows up. But it's definitely time now to go and... Um, yeah, go and get some good uh, exploration, exploring done in the uh, in the deep dark forest. The black forest. Oh, God, I always forget what it's called. It's go time. It is go time. <sighs> right. So to go to the black forest... We need to go down to over here, don't we? It's down here. I'm interested to see if there is some more of it up here. Yeah, look, looks like it is up there. But we'll go to this one. This is the one we've partly explored. And we're looking out now for caves, big caves for trolls. Looking out for just the skeletons as they will be near burial chambers. And then the burial chambers is where we can find... Um, that is where we'll find... Uh, circling cores. Now, these circling cores are little glowing red objects and they are going to allow us to create furnaces and charcoal kilns which will allow us to smelt all, smelt, uh, well, cook, cook, burn logs into charcoal um, as well as uh, then the, the furnaces will obviously allow us to, oh that's a bit deep, to smelt them, smelt the uh, iron ore, uh, iron ore, or copper ore and tin ore little sort of auto save uh, into the bars and then we can forge them together to make bronze I thought I saw a troll for a second but that looks like there's a load of mobs down there so should we go and test oh <laughs> well here we go this is exactly what we needed so let's put a little mark down so let's just whack one of these down put in that copper fantastic we have that marked that's good so we can always come back to this Right, so it's now time to see how good we are with this stuff. Oh, I threw it back, so that's why. That's a shaman. So here you go. That's quite a good group of uh, enemies here. That's that one gone. There we go. Like a trophy of yours, please. No? Maybe not. Right, well that's a little bit adventurous. A little bit maybe too much to begin with. But uh I've just seen the carrot seeds. This time I can go, ooh, carrots. Here we go. Uh but yes, it might have been a little bit too crazy, but we did it, so we're fine. I mean anything worse than that now would be to run into a troll. Hmm. Oh boy. Do we think we're ready? 
I think we'll be ready if we do that and now the first shot you get on these guys is a shock one. Careful of that. Just want to be careful here. That was a good hit. Another pretty good hit. Good hit to the head. Stick to the trees. Trees are your friend here. Oh, but they can also be your worst enemy. Oh, we're getting a little bit of lag, which is a bit annoying. I don't really get lag in this game. Alright, a bit low on stamina. He's getting a little bit close for comfort. Good hits. Good hits. Bit close. And there he is. Troll down. Now we're going to get some good stuff from this. We're going to get exactly what I'm hoping for. Troll hide. So we can now get the next level of armor. What are you doing in there? Get the block on them. Okay, so spear's not very good, so I'm very much looking forward to getting um, a better weapon. Now, Hugin's going to tell me exactly what to find in here. There we go. Well, in we go. I wanted to eat some food pretty fast, so there we go. We're good for everything else. Just Right, now, I want these mushrooms as well. Another settling core. Oh, bugger. Wow, we're nearly outside here. But look at this. All these settling cores. It's exactly what we needed. Fantastic. We get a bit of ruby on the top there. More amber. Amber's going to be helpful much later game when we finally meet a trader. Now, traders are quite hard to find. I don't know if we'll actually ever find us, but uh, <laughs> who knows. But for now, I think we're all done apart from one room in here. Six circling cores. Pretty good haul. So I think now... What's this white? Have we got a snow biome just here? Oh my lord, we have a snow biome. Now I really shouldn't be going in here because third, um, this is the th fourth biome. So <laughs> we really don't want to be mucking around in there. So much so that we're just going to run away. And actually head back now. So what we're going to do, we're going to run back. I will see you back at the base. And we can then get everything together. And then call that an episode. Be right back. 
Okay, so we made it back to the base, which is good. Now, one thing I just thought about as I came back here was we now need to be careful. Uh, I don't know how it come, comes about, but it does happen where suddenly you'll get a notification saying the ground starts to shake. And what that means is basically all the guys from the Black Forest will turn up around your house. So trolls, grey dwarfs, shamans, they will all suddenly spawn, you know, or spawn here, you know, right in front of me, for example. And you could have one troll, you could have two trolls, you could have multiple, multiple trolls. Um, but, uh, so you never actually really know. And so you need to be very, very aware of that for the future. Because it could go horribly wrong <laughs> if, if we're not prepared. So from now on, we do really have to keep weapons on us at all times. Um, that usually happens at night. But you never know. You just never, ever know. And so what we're going to do is we're going to call the episode there. I think it's been a very good episode uh, in what we've done. We've managed to take the first boss down as the sun goes. And uh, we've managed to also take down our first troll. We've been to the Black Forest. We've got blueberries, which I probably should be saving. Um, and so, yeah, the next thing is just to start you know, getting through to getting the bronze items as fast as we can now. Get axes, swords, maces, uh, like the halberd style thing, poleaxe, we need one of them. And basically just really, really gear ourselves up, fight more trolls, get more confident. As soon as we've got the axe, we'll go for fine wood trees and finally cut down all those birch trees that are lying about. Uh, make better, there's a fine bow, and then we can get loads of fine wood to make furniture out of. And we can really, really make the inside and outside of this place look a thousand times better and it just means that suddenly our comfort level goes up in here and you see our rested buff at the top right corner there will go up as well but anyway thank you so much for watching everybody i hope you've enjoyed the episode i will sort out my uh, settings before this uh, for the next episode as well and uh, be a much smoother experience i think it's because we've just loaded in a loads of more things as in the black forest you know we've suddenly gone down to here <laughs> normally it's fine but it's whenever i record it gets a little bit a little bit tougher uh but it won't be a problem for next episode i promise but um anyway thank you so much for watching everyone have a great rest of your day and we'll see you in the next one goodbye